Thanks for checking out this episode of Talking House of Dragon. <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot more of a mouthful. Talking Thrones. I mean, talking, it's still a Game of Thrones Talking show. Thrones. Right? Yeah. Talking Thrones. That'll work. Yeah. Uh, we're going to break down the episode of episode four of Game of Thrones, House of Dragon, House of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. The, the, thy, the. Uh, interesting episode because it really kind of just focused on one situation primarily. Pretty much. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. To show different aspects, how it affected different people in the house of Targaryen and other houses. But uh, it was interesting that it was just that situation for the whole episode. Yeah. It's... Uh, it yeah it the whole one part one scene ish area kind of <laughs> overshadowed the rest of the episode 100%. i actually forgot what the rest of the show was about it wasn't much just until, like little things and yeah yeah until re going over it you're like oh yeah that happened and that happened and then sure. that, that one part just kind of yeah i mean you have damon otto and renera yep. who are in the spotlight this episode yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Allison gets a moment, an awkward one. Viserys gets a moment, a little Viserys bit. Viserys gets, you know, the backside. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get that beautiful backside. <laughs> oh. But yeah, if you haven't seen this, obviously it is spoilers. Go check it out. Uh, great episode-ish. Interesting. You get to see different dynamics with uh, Damon, Otto, and uh, you definitely get to see a wild side of Rhaenyra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the episode starts off. You know, it's uh, a little time has passed again. Um, I think Papa Viserys is like, hey, you need to strengthen your, your household. Your it's lineage. To, your lineage. It's time to get married, little Renera. So it starts off with a tour, uh, tour de France. And uh, she's she's up at a podium or, you know, she's up at the altar or whatever. She's just uh, on a perch. Kind of like throne. a throne. Yeah, she's up higher. And everybody has come far and wide to throw their hand at marriage at mm -hmm. her and uh no one around her age no i would say the kid and the old guy and the old guy yeah. is all we saw but i would suspect i mean as she gets bored with it you know no one attractive to her yep at all it kind of panned around you saw the other kingdoms and whatnot the but little, they were all older yeah and that little a-hole guy yeah so <laughs> but yeah no it's uh yeah just everybody's not her type she's really not in the mood to get married she's mm -mm young so she doesn't care about it right now she, this isn't what she wants and mm -hmm. so she's just you know she's swiping left and uh, just <laughs> how do dismissing. you know what that is ah uh, what her <laughs> stories <laughs> she didn't swipe right on anybody there was no matches made uh i do feel bad for the little kid though he's a ba though yeah he was getting trash talked by all the other uh knights or whatever princes that showed up and he wants to show the queen how much of it because he, he's like if you pick me I'll protect you every night, mm -hmm. whatever. And she, at that point, she's just over it. She's like, let's just go. I'm done here. Uh, and so, like, mid-escort out of the room, <laughs> the kid and that guy who's picking on him end up in a sword fight, and the little kid kills the, the big, you know, the dude who's a prince or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just, yeah, totally knifes him or swords him down. And Rhaenyra's just, you know, she's out. She, yeah, she doesn't care, but it's pretty cool. I'm glad the little kid won. It's nice yeah. when David beats Goliath, you know. 100%. It's nice. Nice to... Yeah. So, yeah. But when choose. you try to impress a girl and the girl doesn't even see it, was it even worth it? It's like if a Absolutely. tree falls down in the woods, does it even make a sound? Absolutely. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, I mean, like, he was still defending his honor. And, yeah. You know, he's probably been swordsmithing, you know, dealing with a weapon for his whole five years of living living you know yeah <laughs> he's pretty young he's really young uh, yeah he's probably yeah. 11 12 yeah so yeah that happens she's supposed to be on this tour Viserys is set up to where every available suitor uh far and wide is supposed to come and and offer and their woo name her and woo her yep no jewelry i didn't see any jewelry no nope. no flashy cars or dragons or horses no nope. yeah but, uh, yeah, so Viserys is a little ticked off when he set this up. Took a lot of his energy that the old man barely has nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and it embarrasses the house, I'm sure. Yep, and it's just a waste of time because he had a whole tour set up for, I think, months. Mm -hmm. And she did it very small amount of time. <laughs> so that just really frustrated him because 
that's what she agreed upon. I mean, she's a princess. She only wants eights to tens. She doesn't want these like. I don't four even know if sixes. she wants eights to tens. Probably not. She thinks she wants aunts and uncles. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Keep that bloodline strong. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, but then the very next scene, you get to see like a different side of Damon. And I'm still trying to read him because his, his character is not the same Damon that we saw in the other previous episodes. Correct. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's not quite a dog with its tail between its legs. And it's not quite like a facetious or like a I told you and I got you type Damon. I, I really couldn't read like it, he's almost defeated. Like his, his demeanor is almost defeated, but it's still like, he was almost like more sincere than he's ever been in this episode. I, he just got a plan. He's got a plan. He's got a plan and he's testing. I don't know. He's just pushing the King in different directions to see how he reacts. I mm-hmm. think. And which move will get him to bend yep. or break. And, yep. whatnot. and I think he's finally been able to find it and it's, yeah, well, he, he got a reaction this he did. episode. He did. Yeah. I think that's all what it's about. And that's all this was about is like when he came back and won, finally. Yeah. Um, he wanted to be greeted and see how the king would react to him. And he, you know, open armed, welcomed him back. And, you know, thank you for your service, pretty much. Yeah. And then big old brotherly big hug. Big old brother love. And then they were best friends again. Which that's that's like so that specifically was kind of where I was like, what is up with Damon? Like, I don't, he's almost like defeated because when they go to hug, you know, Viserys has his arms out and Damon comes up to him and rests his head on his shoulder like, like a, puppy. a yeah, like a puppy. Mm-hmm. And it's like what? Like Because that's what Dan- that's what Viserys is. He's not like the brute guy. He's the lovable guy, lovable king. So this is that route Damon's taking. This is that route, you okay. know, oh you you know, you protect me. Yep, yep. You want you want the nurturing Damon? Mm-hmm. Well I'll give you nurturing. Yep. Whatever. Yep. I mean, he's not nurturing Damon. No. I think he's playing a game with Viserys. Everything definitely seems to be a chess move. Yeah, yeah he's a lot smarter than he looks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he is. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so weird. Like you, I, every episode we're just seeing like a different side to, mm-hmm. to Damon, and yeah, he can. E- he's either an idiot, uh, or he's just the greatest mastermind over Otto and everybody else. And and I'm gonna go towards that one. I'm, yeah, I agree. I think he's playing this game very well yeah that no one sees it coming when he does something crazy yeah tugging on heartstrings continues because he leaves a little note for uh rhaenyra in her he room leaves a little you know some clothes gives her buys, some clo- oh that's right there is clo- buys yeah some clothes for her yeah spark her interest and spark her interest and, and then there's a little note and and uh she finds a little secret passage that we've mm-hmm. never seen before no never seen it before it's kind of cool i'm sure everyone so when they are taking the secret passage it kind of goes straight down the street how does nobody exactly walk right it's up like, that oh, thing let's see where this goes yeah oh inside the castle inside the king's lair weird Sweet. yeah yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah specifically went, to the princess's room yeah awesome yeah perfect <laughs> she's guarded on the other side perfect <laughs> yeah i thought that was kind of maybe they just didn't show it all but that sure. was kind of weak i thought yeah maybe. it's on tv you got to crunch it down for Absolutely. time so maybe they agreed, cut out agreed yeah. <laughs> agreed a little, little hole there but it's all good yeah but we do see right after that probably one of my favorite non-fighting scenes in the whole show so far and i'm actually quite with in the, the whole play? series the play not the play just how they show like king's landing flea bottom oh yeah you're seeing it from like we've never seen that before the poor side up mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how just it's like grungy and gross and just like but not that i thought that was cool but like it right. was just cool to finally see what we kind of imagined it was like what you know is happening at night yeah. you know the commoners what are they doing when uh, the guards are away mm-hmm. and the royalty is sleeping, you know? Yeah that, yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes in the whole Game of Thrones series. How simple it was just to see the streets. And I thought it was really nice. Yeah, it was different. It was definitely different. Like, I'm okay, bef- before they go places sure. is what I'm talking about. That's, <laughs> right? Oh, There's look, theaters happening. They're yeah. mocking the king mm-hmm. and, the, and the family and stuff. They're and mocking Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and, but she's there watching the play with Damon. 
That would never. They don't. I thought they loved me. Right. Yeah. Knock her down a couple pegs. You got to win these people over, Rhaenyra. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that doesn't stop there. And Damon takes her other places, and he keeps scheming. Keeps scheming. They keep getting. You know, they keep going down alleys to darker, darker places, and mm-hmm. uh, end up at a in a a place where, as Damon says it, men can take what they want. Mm-hmm. Right. What's a common word for that? A, uh, a pleasure house? Brothel? Brothel. Brothel. That was the there word you're go. looking for. Yeah. Pleasure house, brothel, <laughs> same thing. Yeah, it brings you to a brothel. Brothel. And just kind of lead. I didn't know brothels were so big. It's massive. He's walking her for a minute. Yeah. And like just leading her. It's like it's like you have the common people and then it gets like probably to the guards and then like the king's guards and then it's probably like lords and it's, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, if this is the same one that Littlefinger owns, then it definitely shows like a before and after because everything that was dividing each section was just like cloths, mm-hmm. transparent cloths. And at least when Littlefinger owns it, it's like bamboo walls and whatnot. It's 170 years. For innovation and engineering. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, <laughs> the brothels have upgraded since then. <laughs> yeah, they made some money since. Yeah, yeah I think so they made a couple So they're doing well. Yeah. A little bit of coin, mech, you know. <laughs> But yeah, that was uh, it. It was interesting to see. Um, just yeah, I, no I, boundaries, no walls between anybody. I don't know exactly what I saw because I was kind of like, you didn't want to watch. I didn't. Yeah, it's an uncle and a and a niece, and so it's just like what. Yeah, so I I like didn't like try to watch the outside stuff going on, you know. <laughs> but sure. it it was there. Like I have not rewatched that scene specifically. But yeah, he's he's taking her through, and you know, Rhaenyra, she's she's intrigued. She's definitely intrigued. She's looking around, seeing what other people do. Um, she's confused by the place itself, like why this would even be in a, uh, a place Existence. people want to go to. Yeah, <laughs> and so he's just letting her know. Well, specifically because in her head, um, when two people do that act, it's not for fun. It's it's to gain control. It's a power move, either to have a kid to improve your lineage or to unite, unite houses. houses and so in her head that's all this is for and she doesn't understand why all these just regular common people would want to go to this place and do it so damon's showing her room by room uh or section by section and he's explaining to her that nope this can actually be something fun he's starting to tease the idea to her get her to come to that side um they were having drinks and loosening her up um they do end up into a section where you know they they get close they start kissing they're doing you know they're getting hot and heavy um and it looks like it's about to happen and then damon just walks away mm-hmm. uh you know you go that 90 percent, tease him a little bit and just finish and go and uh make some wanting more is what i took from that right I, yeah leave her wanting more mm-hmm. um because i don't think he wants to like it's an easy out to be like oh it was the drinks we were caught up in the moment i realized what was happening and i was out right if, mm-hmm. if ever you know shame on damon he gets caught or whatever yeah. uh but you know you just try to i think he was trying to get rhaenyra to want him like come to him because he's always wanted her probably probably well, want- ex- especially after he got passed up absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah he's always wanted her and this is his way to kind of tease her without getting her yep getting her head a little bit making her think it's her idea yes yeah yes so yeah well this comes to bite everybody in the butt because of uh what i assumed was one of otto's little birdies there was a kid there on the stairs that scene that is your otto's little birdie i disagree oh i agree disagree i think it was actually damon and miseria's little birdie no way i didn't even think of that and aspect. here's why i think that because specifically he go you sure yeah he goes to the king and tells him what happens after that Otto, uh, you talking about the the little kid comes up yep. to Otto, explains what's going on. Otto yep. loves gossip, goes yep. right to the king, exactly, and he's just like, I don't, I don't really want to tell you this, and I'm not to tell you this, but your your daughter mm-hmm. and your brother were acting in uh, unfavorable mm-hmm. actions or whatever, and uh, obviously this ticks off the king because mm-hmm. he's just like, Th- these are lies. He's yeah, like, I know always. my daughter. She's up, she's up in her chamber. She's there every night. She doesn't do anything. She mm-hmm. doesn't do anything I ever tell her to do. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, Otto doubles down and, and, uh, and maybe that's why he can't, he kind of, he, 
he stalled it for a second when Viserys was questioning him and was like, is this a birdie you can trust? And Otto like took a second, but then he was just like, this birdie has never lied to me before. Mm -hmm. But he's not lying. He's not lying. Maybe because he's never talked to this guy before. That was my... Or maybe Damon's always been feeding this kid information to give to Otto. Yes. Ooh, so it goes deep for a while. That's my guess. It's 100% guess, but I think... That's right. That would make sense is what Otto is in Misery are... But it does make sense. Like, of all places, like, why take her straight there? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. there's probably other brothels. They talk about Misery a little bit, and I know this is kind of... It's a little bit with this, how she doesn't need to do that stuff anymore. And yeah. the way I was thinking it is she has like hotels or something like that, but I think she has birdies too. Mm. And I think information is money. Sure. And yep. that in that's what Damon wanted. And he just blacks out drunk. Uh, and I do think he was, yeah, I, that, that was my inkling. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but that was my, why not though? That's another Avenue for politics to be played for mm-hmm. the game of Thrones. And, yeah. And it worked. And if we, if Damon's as smart as we think he is, yeah, then he just destroyed Otto in one easy move. Uses Otto's, you know, two ace birds, and, one stone. Yeah, kills two birds, one stone. Dude, you're on, that. Yeah, you got to be right. Maybe I don't know. You got to be right. Uh, wow, that that <laughs> makes me like re look at that situation. Uh, that's super cool. Because it, why would he bring her to that specific? Uh, that's what I think. He leaves without her. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Because then. It, it, they were there long enough to make it look to everybody that that's what happened mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And, and when they were kind of getting hot and heavy, they were kind of slamming against the wall, you know, being audible so people would pay attention and, and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, you're probably right. I hope I'm right. Late. Right, uh, yeah. And well, it worked for Damon because after that conversation with the king, the king was very upset with Otto and really dug into his, his intuitions and probably what other people have been telling him, like Damon this whole time, mm-hmm. that Otto only cares about himself and becoming yep. powerful. Uh, so now he's got a real taste of that. He really doesn't trust Otto. And it definitely leads to a conversation later on in the episode. Mm-hmm. Um but before that could even happen, Viserys is fuming, steaming. Um, instead of talking to Renera, he'd rather talk to his brother. Yep. Who is hung over than heck. I think he's playing it again. I think he's just playing it. I don't think he's actually that hung over. Oh, gotcha. Paint the picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all about painting that picture. Plays it well. And actually the acting for it was really done really well. I <laughs> it was kind of funny seeing him like stagger out. King's guard comes to grab him and they're just hauling him away. And when they get him into uh, where the iron throne is, they just drop him on the ground. And he's kind of just like, this is a good spot to take a nap mm-hmm. and just, you know, lays there until Viserys comes in and kicks him right into the either gut or back or yeah, something. something. Yeah. Little, little word conver- or, you know, word play is done while they're having a conversation. Uh, Cause Viserys is being direct and Damon is being so uh, he's generalizing everything and being, not direct. His, I mean, but his words are pretty smart for being that drunk. Sure. Nothing, nothing he said would make you say, "Yeah, it happened," or "No, it didn't happen." Yeah, yeah. He kind of led him on to think it did mm-hmm. on purpose. I don't think a drunk man would have done that. A drunk man would have been one. You'd be very frustrated because uh, you're so hungover and you just yeah. want to go back to bed. So you'd kind of be irritated with the person accusing you of something, and you'd just be like, "Get out of here." Like, don't accuse me of this. I can't think right now. Like, just leave me alone. Mm-hmm. And or no, it didn't happen. Like, let me go back to sleep or get some water. But he was in his like hungover state. Was just very like, if it happened, it happened. Like, what does it matter? That's why I think Damon's. Re- I think he's just too smart. Yeah, I think he's playing this how he wants to play it. And then, then he asked for his, her hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you think it happened, can I marry Renera? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Because. Would they talk about her being, um, they said a certain word. She's not a maiden anymore is what they call it. Yeah. Bit. She's corrupted and, uh, she's sullied. Yeah. So, which made me think of the unsullied and I was right back into the original game of Thrones and I was like, don't go oh. there. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she's, yeah. So she, and that's why he wants her then. I think that was the point of it. So he can marry her cause he knows he's not direct line king. Yep. But if well. he marries her, then he would be. He is, yep, yeah. he would be. Yep. Uh, he's playing a whole bunch of angles. 
Mm-hmm. He's too smart. I think he's a lot smarter than we, we even seen on the show. Well, if he wanted somebody that wasn't unsullied, he screwed up because that's exactly what happened that night. Yes, it is. <laughs> she, you, you got the queen, uh, princess too hot and bothered. No, way too hot and bothered. She staggers home, uh, which the guard, uh, Sir Kristen Cole, was Sir watching Kristen the Cole. door. Mm-hmm. He's kind of like, what the heck? Because he saw the uh, princess go in, never saw her leave, and now she's coming back in way later in the when, night. When do the night? When do they get sleep? I don't know. I don't even know what the uh, hour of the owl and all that stuff is. Yeah. But uh, the birdie said that she was out during the, the hour mm-hmm. of the owl. Yeah. And yeah, so she goes in the chamber and she's... Just... Oh, are you talking about the Kingsguard? Yeah. When do they, uh, probably like 12 on, 12 off. Like, But that's her personal assistant. Mm. Like personal guard. Just nap on post. I guess. But like... <laughs> Yeah, right. It's, it seems like it seems like he's always there during the day and night. Mm-hmm. So yeah, when when would you get sleep? You would think sleep, and then he, she'd have different people watching her at night. Mm-hmm. They did show they did show guards tra- uh, changing posts or mm-hmm. whatever uh, in Game of Thrones. Like but not not this one. Not the King's Guard. King's Guard? No. I I, I, I thought remember. when uh, not when, King's uh, the. I know yeah. what you're talking about the the night, guard Night's Watch. Uh, when Night's Watch. Or sorry, not the Night's Watch, like the <laughs> King's Guard, the Royal. Whatever. Yeah, the seven of them. Yeah, <laughs> when uh, there there was a scene where there um, Robert Baratheon was uh, in his room, and I think it was the episode where he was just cheating on his wife. Uh, but which there one? Was, exactly. Yeah, but there was a shift change where Jamie uh, Jamie took over. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, and relieved the other guy of duty. And oh yeah, I do yeah. remember that. And then he got louder because he knew Jamie was out there and was really trying to mess with them. Yep. Yep uh yeah so but uh to go back to this so she's hot and bothered Mm -hmm. (laughs) the only male in in proximity is uh you know the only guard who's ever had combat experience which she already found attractive Mm -hmm. uh opens up the door lures him in he's very hesitant probably because it could get him killed killed and yeah killed from from anyone yep and then yeah that's like do I listen to my princess or do <laughs> I pretty much die? Yeah. And it looked like he was contemplating that when yeah. she was, yeah, it was just like, is this worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Cause I literally could be dead for this. And he's like, okay, it's worth the squeeze. Yep. Yeah. So they, uh, yeah, she becomes not a maiden anymore. Um, they have fun. And the next day, Viserys finally talks to Rhaenyra mm-hmm. and, uh, pretty much just flat out doesn't want to hear her side of it because he's so fed up with everything. But he didn't even ask. Didn't even ask. That's should have. Yeah, he should have. Yeah, but I do think there was probably more of that conversation with Alicent and Viserys because she was already in the room uh, with Viserys, and they you got the tail end of that conversation mm-hmm. where she was just like, "Well, I believe Rhaenyra, right? Rhaenyra told me she yeah. didn't." Yeah. So there was probably he probably has heard more than he wanted to know yeah. about his daughter. And now he's just like, whatever you say doesn't matter because it's all about the public opinion. Yep. And perception is reality. Perception is reality. And tells her that she she he he's done with the tour. Or, you know, she screwed up the tour, so she he's already frustrated. So no tour. You're gonna marry uh Lenor, mm-hmm. Valerian. And you know, she I was surprised. I was surprised one by her response, and then I was surprised by the actions that follow. Uh, right? She says, "Okay, mm-hmm. but you have to do your job as a king," and he's kind of just like, "What does that mean?" And she just flat out like steamrolls Otto, and it's yep. just like, "You have this guy as the the uh, king that or hand of the king." And he is doing anything he can to gain power over you, and you're not even doing anything about it. And I think that was the cherry on the cake for the king anyway, because he was already stewing over the, the conversation earlier. And, dude, he laid into Otto. Broke down more details than I think the show has even showed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because um, Otto, <clears throat> just because I randomly happen to know, um, served under <laughs> his grandpa, Jaharis, as yes. the hand of the king. Uh-huh. And went straight to... Uh, of Viserys. So he's been a hand of the king for a long time. Um, he's had a chance to put Alicent. Alicent. He served un, uh, under two other kings. He didn't. Mm. Previous to Viserys. There was only one king. Really? Yeah. I thought I thought Viserys had said two. Maybe Viserys, not. it went um, uh, Jehalis, and then it went straight to 
it went straight to uh, Viserys. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There was no king in between. I wonder if it was like pre-king. Or not, not pre-king, but maybe like a lower rank that he was in. Because I thought he said he served under two people. What? But I could, I could be wrong. So like, yeah, like Viserys' dad was the king to be. And then Viserys' dad's brother was actually the first king to be. But he got killed. And then his dad got killed. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I think that's what it was. Yeah. I, they were not king. Okay, but but I think uh, I think Otto was there by both their their Otto sides. Otto was yeah. a very I mean the high towers were very much there. Mm-hmm. And so Viserys is just like that's weird that death follows you, Otto. Mm-hmm. And and the king knows he's kind of withering away. Uh, yep. He's got infections that can't be fixed and <laughs> cured and whatnot. And so yep, if he does, uh, Otto's taken back by this because I think well he's obviously watching his his. Uh, generational master plan decade long whatever um plan just crumble away i mean a little bit he still has allison there so yeah. he still has an in but i think he wanted to be closer to the action and i yeah. think he just lost that aspect to kind of like focus the king's eyes on certain things yep so we kind of lost a little bit but i did, yeah his grandmaster plan is still in play true because even uh yeah i guess you're right because uh with his title stripped away uh you know hand of the king he can take a step back, but he still does have a chess piece in the game. Mm-hmm. And once Viserys goes, whether it's death or uh, Renera takes over, he can squeeze right back in there. Death or like skin curling away, yeah. Uh, right. He's. It's not gonna be a good death for no. that guy, no, which sucks because he is very humble, very nice, uh, just too nice as a king. He's too nice, and that's yeah. why this. Um, that's why Damon's looking for power, and everyone's looking for power around him because he's too nice. Yep. Yep bunch of vultures mm-hmm. like oh, the vulture man. king <laughs> um but yeah so because of that i would assume that now renera has to marry lenor mm-hmm. uh i mean it's no secret i don't know if we want to get into like the future of uh, no we don't okay. want to get into the future too much um but lenor is you know the daughter of the queen who never was mm-hmm. and um the sea snake Yep. No, Laner is the son. Sorry. Sorry. Laner is the son and the other girl's Lanus or something. Uh, Lano, Lano. Yeah. The the daughter was the one who was promised to Viserys or mm-hmm. one of Viserys. Leanna. Leanna. Yep. Leanna. Yep. yep. And yeah, so uh they're about I I don't know about their age. Because they're different, uh yeah, than in the books and whatnot, but uh, oh, you talking about Le, uh, Lenor's or yeah, Lenor? I don't know about his age. I think he, he looks around the same age. He does as, yeah. as her. He is a dragon rider, which is very cool as well. Yep. Um, Renera is a dragon rider, uh, and, and Viserys knows that that's the only option at this point is to marry Lenor because yep. three and a half years of them battling in stones, uh, stepstones, has not cooled down Corlys nope. yet. Not nope, not the sea snake. Sea snake. He's in, he's pissed, and that this is a way to get him back into the throne and calm him down and get his ships back in the, the royal fleet and stuff like that. Yep, man. To hear Damon say that, like, hey, where's Corlys? Ah, the sea snake. He just sailed on home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's so pissed. Mm-hmm. Yep, doesn't want anything to do with King's Landing right now. Just yeah. So I think they're gonna have a. Yeah, so it was it was big, and you know I I love how have they haven't even met yet, have they? They might have. Who? Uh, Lenor and uh, Renera. No, just Damon and well, who who knows? Maybe they, maybe in the they, past. I'm sure they have. Yeah, because yeah. the families were so close. I mean, yeah. he was part of the council at one point, so uh, Corliss was. Yeah, I'm so, sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure they had play dates together and stuff like that. Uh huh. Yeah. So team, yeah, team it's, crumpets. It's gonna stuff. be it's gonna be a big wedding, because the um you know the sea snake. Are is, we gonna get to see another red wedding? <laughs> the sea snake is I, and is the richest lord in all the in all the seven kingdoms. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be extravagant. It's going to be very extravagant, especially since he's you know getting the daughter, of the, the the queen, the queen, be. and especially if it's all for naught, that could just set off a huge war. Mm-hmm. If it's all for naught, if it's all for naught, we don't know. We don't know. It's Game of Thrones. You don't ever. You know. never know. Game. Yeah. I mean, the red wedding was a big, big game changer. Yes. Um, <laughs> but what's cool is like, and and I think we talked about this in uh, the first episode or whatever, but even if you are anybody is, is reading the books and whatnot, it's not exactly by the book. And it's because uh, it's all through the, the 
What are you... the eyes of the Maester. So I am reading the listening to the books, and I'm just about to episode two. I think mm-hmm. is where I think it's about where it's at. Um, they specifically say in the book, or yeah, they specifically say that this is all based off of stuff that happened, and it's being retold ten years later. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and that's the whole basis of this book is it, that it's like stories told by other people that time is past and, and yeah and it could be not it could there. be not it's kind of like how we were just talking about how like no one knew about john snow yep except for a certain maester who did who probably wrote in a book that no one ever read yep which is crafty it's a creative way to tell a story it is yeah. um so there's many different angles to this and they're just corroborating a story and there's many different ways that could happen like jamie maybe jamie didn't kill the king oh maybe Right, he said he, he took blame for it. Yeah. But what if someone actually else actually did, and he just took blame for it because he wanted to protect them? What if Cersei actually did? Could have wasn't the first time he's taken blame in that show. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm. Like, I think this show. I didn't read the Game of Thrones books. I I am reading this one. Maybe that's how that one is told as well. Do you know if this is true or false? If they're told by Maester and stuff like that. Oh, in the Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so it's uh, but just, who knows with George R. R. Martin? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it's it's interesting. Um, I do enjoy part of the books. Uh, it's just different angles, but I do love watching the pictures and the and the you know just seeing everything that you're we're seeing. Like the only thing I would say the biggest difference is the ages. Right, you're going over it. Like most everything they name into a T is exactly what they're he's describing exact, in the yeah, books. Yeah, identical. <laughs> just. I mean, at least in the first two, you know, on our map. But yeah, it's uh, it's it's cool. Actually Do see it. they, since they're so spot on with Damon in the books, mm-hmm. do they paint Damon in a more definitive light than what we're seeing in the show? Like, is he a like is he genuinely a bad guy in the books? They say no one. They say him and Otto hate each other. Okay. They specifically say they always try or scheming against each other, and that. Uh, he was always in brothels and stuff like that, which doesn't show it. He's in Flea Bottom. He, he like cuts off, he does stuff to rapists, he does stuff to thieves. Yeah. He do, and they show that in the show. They show like it in they the specifically, show. you know, first episode. Yep. Yeah. Um, so he's, pr- they show the gold cloaks, which he, you know, created. Uh, everything they said he do- he's done, he's done, is where I'm at at least right now. Okay. So they've painted him more accurate than anyone else specifically they painted him like in the show that we're watching is exactly how the books are that's super cool so maybe it changes as we go along but he is the most accurate description of anyone so far nice okay so I, that which makes me think that they focus on him a lot which means has he's to he's the main a... main main guy oh as people come and go mm-hmm. damon's gonna be there damon's gonna be the main guy Yep, I could see that. I hope it's that way because honestly, I don't know if I would appreciate the show without him at this yeah. point. I, I don't know if he's actually this smart yet either. We both, I mean, we don't, <laughs> right. maybe he's just super dumb and just getting lucky. Could, yeah, could be the case. I don't know. Oh, uh, but I mean, it's it was a great episode. It definitely was another one of those setup episodes that's putting a lot of pieces into play. Uh, the house Targaryen is definitely crumbling from within at this yes, point. Yes, it is. Right? We're seeing it uh, from all facets. The king himself literally and figuratively falling apart. Uh, Renair is struggling with the idea of marriage. Mm-hmm. Now has been seen in public uh, doing scandalous things. Yep. Uh, Damon, uh, you know, beloved by the people of the Citadel. Or not Citadel, uh, sorry, but King's Landing. Um, beloved by the, the general people, but the people that are close to him and know him just think he's just this a-hole, arrogant mm-hmm. guy. Um, and he's at some point going to be grasping at straws to try and get this to work to where he can be sitting on the throne. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have Alicent and Otto, Otto being stripped of a title, shoving, uh, you know, pushed away. How is Alicent going to handle this? Especially with her talk with Renera about her place in the kingdom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Her place is um, being beckoned at three in the morning Mm-hmm. For uh, some a booty call, for a booty call from a guy who is um, disintegrating. Yeah, right. Nice. And, and you feel for her a little bit because, like, she's she's in her chambers. The uh, servant comes up and says the king's called for you, and <laughs> she's like, "It's late. Like, let me just get some sleep." So, Sorry, the queen or the king wants you. And then, so she's realizing, you know, her her talk with uh, Renera is probably true. You know, mm-hmm. her place is just to be. 
when he yeah be there when he mm-hmm. needs her and to bear his children and then you can't go anywhere you're within the castle walls mm-hmm. all the time so you're in a prison yeah and that's specifically what Renera told Allison you know might work for some people but it doesn't work for her and she mm-hmm. doesn't want to be trapped yep and it is just echoing in Allison's head and so now you almost wonder <laughs> is she gonna resent Viserys this Absolutely. person she idolized loved and befriended and became I mean, queen with yeah I I. I I think she was super young and didn't know what she's doing too. Sure, listening to the words of Otto. Otto, Otto, little dirty Papa, guy. Papa, you want me to lay with this man? Okay, look at him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I I just there's nobody that's uh, in a comfortable spot at this point. Like nobody, everybody's feeling pain in their own ways. Everybody is kind of uh, falling apart in their own ways. How's Damon falling apart? Damon, I I feel like what? Well, well, he's got the. Uh, the uh, sweet young lady in his uh, Dragonstone lair. Missaria? Yep. Who's, you know, not the nicest to him at this point. I, She's, well, she holds some power over. I don't know what that conversation was about. He, he's kind of reminds me of Tyrion a little bit. Yeah, very he's much scheming so. and he loves his whores. <laughs> he loves his whores. <laughs> but he falls in love with one. Yeah. And then he's going to end up killing her. Not the nicest to him because he knows nope. it's, uh, you he, know, royalty isn't supposed to end up with one. But nope. but he's he just loves who he loves. Yeah. He can't help it. Yeah. Still has a wife at home, though. Yeah. In uh, in the veil that he just... I, I really... Now that he himself has painted this, like, horrific <laughs> picture of her... I want to see what she looks like. What do they, what do they say? They say that they, <laughs> the men, they're the screw sheeps. Yeah. And the sheep are better. Looking yeah. Than the sheep wife. are better looking than the girls. <laughs> and I want to, I want to see like if the veil. You, that was where uh, Aaron was, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at the lady man. Stark sister. And yeah. she was no peach. No, she wasn't. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll see that. We'll see her later. I think. Right. That'd be, that'd be awesome to see that. It would definitely be interesting that'd suck to be cast by, as her. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, be the ugly girl. You need the ugly girl. <laughs> yeah. It worked for the girl in The Witcher, though. She started off ugly and then became no, that's good fair. looking. That's <laughs> not fair. You just gotta learn magic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where do you think the show is gonna go from here in the next episode? Um, did you watch the previews for the next episode? Uh, I didn't. Um, I know. I tried. Actually, I tried. And okay, I mean, like, so. For some reason, like it wouldn't, uh, it got so close to the end of the I, playhead. I don't know what. Really watch it. Uh, it looks like a red wedding. Was I spot on with that? You were pretty close. It oh looks my like, god, I'm it, so excited! It looks like a red wedding. Um, it. I there, see it. There was some fighting, but so by seeing that, I don't think. Gosh, I'm trying to think of who's gonna fight though, because if Corliss is there, and his son is getting married, I don't know who else is a power. Unless it's Otto, because Otto is still really powerful. Sure. Yep. So I think Otto will be there, and I think it's got to be Otto versus Corliss and the King. I mean, but that just seems like a big. It's got to be Otto versus Damon, because who else? But I don't think I don't know why that would happen at the wedding. Sure. Well, why wouldn't they be? You Damon. Have, oh, maybe it's you Damon. Have one's uncle. Damon. Yeah. Damon's the uncle. He's got to be there. He's family. Oh, he was cast away though. Home, but Damon will be there. He's gonna be there. Da- I think it's Damon versus everyone else. Damon coming people swinging they, like a wrecking ball. Him. Yeah, yep. It's Damon. Do you do you actually still have that loaded up on your phone? Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what this looks like, dude. I can't. And we'll be right back. That looks good. Yeah, that that is a red wedding. I mean, it's not gonna be as bad. But, it's not gonna be as bloody and what. But yeah. there's definitely a fight at. I think I assume that was the wedding. Yep. Yep. And somebody comes in and tips the scales because Corliss is ticked off. Mm-hmm. Otto is ticked off. Uh, Allison is, uh, in that last scene, she looked very upset, like she had been just sobbing, crying. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Sir Kristen Cole is like middle, like he's on table stabbing people. And that means he's defending Rhaenyra. So defending. someone's coming against Rhaenyra. Yep. Oh. I, so it wouldn't be, it, it won't be. Da- well, Dame, did it look like he was fighting Damon's like gold cloaks? They would. Damon wouldn't do that. Oh, okay. I don't think he would. You don't think he'd just storm in there and just take Renee? No, because wife? people like him more than her, so they would choose him. Sure. I don't think it, the only person I can think is Otto. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. I mean, Otto looked the most sinister in there, but Damon had that look on his face when it did show him. Yeah. Like he was just about to just unleash holy hell on Otto. Probably. If Otto's attacking Renee, yeah, and he gets to defend her and kill Otto could be it it could be those two battling that tears apart the wedding um 
But I mean, now you've got Corliss's kid in there, and it's just like, where does that come into play? Uh, Unless it's Corliss going after Rhaenyra. Maybe, yeah, right? Maybe Corliss doesn't. Maybe now he is not on board with those two houses getting married, and just seeing his his son marry like the snake uh, Targaryens. Maybe he just snaps and just. I don't know, man, but it looks so good. It looks action packed. Like I know, like finally, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn it I bet you though, with how exciting that looked, um, I bet you this is the last time that we see uh, Millie, whatever her name is. The, I agree. The, I think they're gonna split it. I, they, yep. I think we talked about that five episodes, five episodes. Yep, that would make sense. Yep, because whatever is whatever happens at the end of this one, there's gonna be a big time jump, and yeah, I think we're gonna see the new um, Rhaenyra come in. It, it has Allison. to. That, that would be a good time to to do a time gap afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because obviously the dust is gonna have to settle for a good while, and Rhaenyra's gonna get older and whatnot. Rhaenyra's gonna get older. Allison's gonna get older. Everyone's gonna get older. I think the king will be dead. <laughs> well, it so- <laughs> sounds like that might happen in the next episode. Yeah, that's true. Ah, <laughs> uh, if you loved uh, Viserys, friggin' Somebody, say your last words. He's, he's got a cool name at least. He does Viserys. That that's is a cool a, name. That's a cool name. Not as cool when uh, t- uh, um, Daenerys's brother had it, but you know. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. That, that was a creepy kid. Yeah. <laughs> but he got what he deserved. Yes, he did. Well, um, yeah, it was really just a breakdown of this episode because there really wasn't too many subtle details to kind of pick out and, and tear apart. Um, one question that I did ask Colby before we started this episode is I haven't noticed the intro change. And if it has and you noticed it, let us know down below because I haven't watched it super closely, but it wasn't o- an obvious change like the changes were in the yeah, Game of Thrones intro. Different places. Yeah. So if it has changed, let us know what you noticed. Um, if there was something else in this episode that was key, of key importance and we didn't cover it, let us know what you thought. And uh, if you liked this episode, let us know that too. Yeah. And That'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd and be really sweet. What's up? That'd be really sweet. It, w- it would be super sweet of you guys. Um, but yeah, no, definitely hit that like, uh, the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, help us grow. And uh, hit that bell notification so you don't miss another episode. But mostly hit that like button because it helps us with the algorithm, pushes up the videos, and helps us grow. This is free for you guys. And let's keep it free. Let's keep it growing. And the the like and subscribe is how you do that. Mm-hmm. Like a hippie. We're just like hippies. You yeah. Know? We keep it free. Keep, keep it free. growing. <laughs> yeah. All natural and all free. Not so natural. Definitely natural. A little artificial here. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah guys thanks for talking nerdy and we will see you guys in the next episode peace there it is